The day I got sighted, I was blindsided. I couldn't believe that this was my life. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. To just have the carpet pulled from under my feet is just devastating. My name is Heather Kokesh Del Castillo and I am a certified holistic health coach. I guide people to put in healthier foods and in doing that, you can take away unhealthy foods. We're a military family and two years ago, we had to move for the military and we moved to Fort Walton Beach, Florida from Monterey, California. California did not require a license for holistic health coaching. It never occurred to me that I would be prohibited in my career and the only thing that changed was that I moved state to state. One day I was just sitting on my couch and got a knock on my door and an investigator said, I'm serving you with a cease and desist and a $754 fine. I was taken aback, I was totally floored. I learned a registered dietitian decided to report me. That cease and desist meant that I could no longer health coach in the state of Florida. That meant that a piece of my income and my career and my passion was then suddenly squelched. The penalty is if I don't cease and desist, first degree misdemeanor, a year in prison, and a thousand dollar fine for each offense. To be licensed in the state of Florida, I would need a bachelor's degree in health. On top of the bachelor's and master's degree I already have, a 900 hour internship, and to pass a board certified exam, I just can't pursue getting licensed in the state of Florida because the requirements are just too lengthy and too financially burdensome. We're a military family. We may only live in Florida another two years. What I do is no different than a blogger or a book author who's able to publish freely their words and advice about nutrition. Someone can be a certified holistic health coach, write a book, publish it, and sell it in the state of Florida with the same advice I may give to an individual, but I can't meet with that person and talk to them. A lot of my coaching happens just over the phone and Skype or Google Hangouts. The First Amendment allows us to speak freely about nutrition, whether paid or unpaid. With the Institute for Justice, I am suing the state of Florida in federal court for my First Amendment right to discuss health and nutrition with other individuals.